I'm gonna show you how to record your computer screen and your webcam at the same exact time so you never have to waste time recording them separately and trying to figure out how to put them all together again. And as a bonus, you're also gonna have your audio recorded while you're on screen, and I'm gonna show you how to edit your footage to make it a lot more dynamic once you do have your screen and your webcam recorded. And we're starting right now. So as you can see, we're now in front of the computer and I am recording myself with the screen that you see here as well. Now, a few things that I'm gonna show you are going to be a game changer for you when it comes to how you're putting your screen recordings together and how you're doing everything when it comes to recording your content. Now check this out. One of the really cool things about what I'm gonna show you is that in addition to recording your webcam while it's recording your screen, it's recording a high quality version of your webcam. So this this software isn't like most software to where it just records a low quality version and just slams it down there into the corner. You can actually expand your webcam to be full screen and it's full quality so that you can use this to record whatever you want to, not just while you're doing screen recordings, which is really cool. But as part of your screen recording, it's gonna help make your content a lot more dynamic because you're gonna be able to switch back and forth from what it is that you're showing people on your screen to what it is that you're actually presenting the content in terms of you being being on the camera as well. So let's get into it and I'm going to show you how to record your webcam while you're also recording your screen. Check this out. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to techsmith.com. Oh, and really quick, before you go to that link, I wanna let you know that there's a link down in the description below to where if you think there's any possible chance that you're going to upgrade in the future, make sure that you use that link because it's gonna save you 10% off if you decide to upgrade in the future. Now we can get back to the video. Now from there, you wanna click on products and then you wanna go over to Camtasia. Now, once you're on the product page for Camtasia, you're gonna see that they have a free trial available. Now with that free trial, they're gonna give you 30 days so that you can try this out for yourself and see how robust this software is in terms of helping you make awesome content. But go ahead and download that free trial to your computer. And as a heads up, this works for Mac and for Windows. So pick whichever operating system is the right one for you. In my case, it would be Windows. And then once you have it downloaded to your computer and you install it, once you open it up, you're going to see an interface that looks like this. This. Now, the part where it gets really cool is right here. Check this out. Once the interface loads, you go to the very top left-hand side of the screen and you hit the record button. Now, when you do this, the interface that I'm looking at right now for Camtasia is going to go away. Now, in the background, I have Audiate, which is another tool that they make to help you process your audio. But basically, what you wanna do is you wanna click the record button, and when you do, you're going to see these recording options pop up on your screen. Now, I put this on a white background just so you can isolate this little area right here so I can show you exactly what all this is. So, as you can see, my microphone here is connected and as I'm talking, you know, it's making the meters move there, which lets me know that my microphone is connected. Now, in addition to that, over here on the right-hand side, we have the system audio. So what this is for is if you're recording anything where you need to have the little dings and all of the stuff that happens while you're recording or maybe you're showing videos or something like that, then you need to make sure that you have the system audio on so that it's actually picking up the audio from your computer. Now, in addition to that, you're also going to see over here that I can select my camera source. As of right now, you can see that I have my cam link selected. And and that is how I'm able to show you myself on the screen right now. And uh, in addition to that, over here on the far left-hand side, you see the region. Now, in my particular case, I have a really wide screen monitor. I'm using a G9. And because of that, I have figured out that this is the size that I can record on this computer on this screen at. And I have a 4K monitor as well. So if you want to record in 4K, then Camtasia will let you record in 4K also. But here you can select from presets. Of course, they have Instagram and Facebook on here as well, or you can put in your own custom settings if you would like. But once you have everything set the way that you want it, all you have to do next is click record. Now, as I'm sure you noticed, as we hit that record button, you have that three second countdown timer to just give you a few seconds to prep. Before we stop it, one other thing that I wanna bring to your attention is, let's say that you're recording something. You need to switch between windows or you need to take a break or you need to drink some water or whatever the thing is. They also have a pause button. And if you click this pause button, it'll just stop your recording where it's at and then you can come back and pick it up later, which is really cool. But once you're finished recording your screen, all you have to do is hit stop. Now, once you have everything recorded, let me show you how you would alternate back and forth between the screen recording and your webcam itself. Plus, I wanna show you some additional features within this software that you're really going to enjoy. 
so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the audio video track. I'm going to right click and I'm going to separate the audio and video. Now, once I have that separated, now I have a screen recording track, which is right here in the bottom. I have a video track, which is right here in the middle. And then I have an audio track that is only for the audio that I'm recording. Now from there, the next thing that I can do, you can see how I have my screen right down here in the bottom right hand side. And it's pretty small, right? <laughs> so nobody can really see me or, you know, what's going on there. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to figure out exactly the size that I want to make this. And I want to figure out where it is that I'm going to position it on the screen. Like I mentioned before, you're not locked in. This is fully flexible. You can do whatever it is that you want here. So in this case, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to move it right down here to the bottom left-hand side of the screen. Now, the reason I'm going to put it there is because over on the right-hand side of the screen, if you're uploading to YouTube, there's going to be a little branding watermark right here. So I'm just moving it over here to make sure that the branding watermark doesn't cover up my screen recording. But once we have that figured out and we know the placement of where the small version of ourselves are going to be or the small version of our webcam, the next thing that we want to do then is we want to figure out, okay, where are we going to actually make my webcam image bigger so that I can make my video a little bit more dynamic. And once you figure out that spot, all you have to do is this. You go into Camtasia and you figure out the place that you are going to make the screen bigger. All you have to do here is click on the video track and then you hit S on your keyboard, and that's going to split the track. S stands for split, it's gonna split the track. The next thing you wanna do after you make that initial split is you want to move the playhead, which is this thing right up here at the very top. You wanna to move that over to the right, and you want to move it into the position to where the webcam would go away, and then the screen would actually take prominence in the frame. So that would mean that you would either reduce the webcam shot down into that small window again, or you can, you can remove it completely for that particular area. The option is yours, but this is how you do it. But you click on the video track, you'll know that you're on the video track and that it's selected by the yellow highlight that you see right here. And then again, we're just gonna hit S on the keyboard to split. Pretty easy, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on that video clip and I'm gonna move the playhead back just a little bit. And now that we have that, I'm going to just grab the right hand side of this, the top right, and I'm just gonna make it big. Just gonna stretch it out here, stretch it full screen. Now, a quick hack for this or a quick shortcut, I should say for this, is let's say that it's small. Then in that case, I can just right click it and I can hit scale to fit, bam. And it's just gonna pop right up there. Now, another really cool thing with this, I'm gonna move it to a different frame because that's a horrible shot of me. <laughs> but the next thing that you wanna do here is let's say that your framing is a little bit off, kind of like it is right here in this particular shot with me. Well, in that case, all I have to do is go over to the animation section. And then I can, of course, bring this in just a little bit farther and put myself in a better position in the frame here by just reframing it over here in this animation area. And by doing that allows me to kind of reposition myself to make sure that it's a flattering look when it comes to the framing of the shots. So you can even make minor corrections like that, which is pretty awesome. So here's how that flow would go. And I'm just gonna move the playhead for this so you can just get an idea of how it would work. But I go over here and you can see that the webcam is small down here in the bottom left. And as I go, it's gonna pop into place, bam. And that animation is actually going to give a little bit of a movement to it as well to zoom it right into that spot. Now, if you are somebody that is not a fan of that zoom in animation, all you have to do here is go over on the left-hand side, zoom into that area, and then you can click right here on that animation and you can just pull it all the way back. And then that makes it to where when this pops in, bam, it's already there, bam. See that right there? So then it just goes full screen and then back out. So by using this technique, you can make your screen recordings really dynamic by having you hop in and out of your screen recording. To learn even more about Camtasia and other tools that will help you with your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.